But that's why I haven't watched Beetlejuice. Is it a good movie? I mean, it's enjoyable family fun. Oh, that's so unfortunate. You, you see just what just happened? Fucked. Yeah, you've just been fucked. Yeah, that's so unlucky, man. This game yeah, is it's, bad. It's, it's just enjoyable family fun. Fair, fair, fair. Winona Ryder's in it, funnily enough. <laughs> she's, the, she's one of the lead roles. Oh, this is such bollocks, man. 13th reason right there. Man, this is like my 28th reason today. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. Parasect, that's fine. We'll just go into, um... <laughs> no, we're not gonna... Why the fuck are we going to Michael Jackson? This guy's a grass type. I shot. <laughs> yeah, and do fucking like 10 damage. Yeah. Um, It's probably better to go into Celine Dion to get a bit of XP. Nah, I should Ooh, actually... do with a gunshot. I do like Celine Dion. I like the idea of having a muck on the team. Yeah, me too. But I was going to say, I remember that it uses Slash and Paris did a lot of damage. Okay, so... A crit will kill us, because that did 32, so... A crit will do 64, so... We will go to Bill. Bill was the initial idea, but, um... Oh, it's quick uh, maths, that, Jamie. Quick maths. Alright, listen. You're playing Pokemon as long as I am. 2 plus 2 is 4, minus 1, that's 3 quick maths. Yeah. So, we just need to... Yeah, nothing. That's grand. So, Chatter. Chatter probably one-shots. I didn't see if we got a download special attack or physical attack, but it's probably fine. Chatter's four times super effective, so we go cheat. Yeah, get fucked. I love Parasect actually. Big Parasect enjoyer. Oh, he's he fucking rocks. Good um, one. Whenever I play through Gen One, I use him. Oh, TM and it's Bone Rush. Too bad we didn't get fucking Skill Link. Otherwise, Bone Rush would be kind of fucking huge. That would on be heinous, actually. <laughs> a grand type attack on Cloister that'd be huge. Um. We didn't finish going through all the legendaries, actually. Oh, yeah, we got up to Gen 5. Yeah, mine was Kiram, yours is Reshiram. Right, Gen 6. I guess. Oh, oh you're not fucking kidding me, are you? Uh, Him again! There he is. There's my boy. Yeah, there he is. He's got such a good looking Pokemon. He's fucking following us around, like, why? I would put my cock in that big tail area. <laughs> oh my god, you just reminded me of... What's that fucking guy? Oh my god! <laughs> I honestly couldn't tell you what I've just reminded you of right now. <laughs> the fucking guy who uploaded the video or fucking put out the pictures about how he was trapped inside of <laughs> Rashi Rap's stomach. <laughs> oh, okay, that guy. Oh my god. Jamie, pull up, pull up the video. Oh my fucking god. Pull up the clip. What the fuck is that called? Didn't I, didn't I send it to you in the... In it the, might be in this Discord. Oh my god, it literally, it's right there. It's just an RP, RPG's bizarre Facebook account. And it's the... Oh my god, the fucking... The fucking image is of... um. Watch me call it. It's like, yeah, here it is. Aubrey. I was walking down the street, and a magic man said my wife just urinated, so he sent me inside my wife's bladder. He did not know that my wife was a Rishi Ram, <laughs> nor did he know that my wife was not even human. He just knew she would urinate. <laughs> Oh fuck! Keep it on like the last line of that fucking picture kills me, man. It just says, "Keep in mind, Reshi Ram does not know that I'm in her bladder." Hang on, Jamie, keep playing the game. I'll, 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 I'll read the rest of it to you. <laughs> oh my fucking god! Oh fuck! So where were we? Um, he just knew that she urinated. His magic yeah. told him that. He has no clue that he sent me to the bladder of a Reshiram. He just assumes that he sent me to the bladder of some human girl. When I got to my wife's bladder, I find that it is indeed empty. I must now wait for her bladder to fill up with urine, so that she can urinate and let me out. <laughs> when her bladder is full, she will urinate and let me out. Unless she has a reason to hold her urine in, then I will drown in her urine. <laughs> Keep in mind, Reshiram does not know that I am in her bladder. 
<laughs> oh, should we read? Should we read the next part of the book? <laughs> you can if you want. Is it the flame Antronach one? Yeah. Yeah, go on. Oh, the flame. Oh, the flame yeah. Antronach one is so funny. Isn't it? What? Oh, before you read, isn't there like a bit where he says, "I'm strictly here on business." <laughs> 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 oh fuck, <clears throat> go for it. <clears throat> <laughs> first line, first line. What's okay. the first line? I'm going to have sex with this female for <laughs> this female flame Andronach from Oblivion. <laughs> I find that the female flame Andronachs in the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion sexy. <laughs> <laughs> However, their body is made up of 87% fire, and 100% fire surrounds them. That could kill me if I had if I tried to have <laughs> sex with one. <laughs> to remedy this, the Flame Antronarch casts a spell on me, making me resistant to fire. Keep in mind, resistant <laughs> is not the same as immune. <laughs> I still take damage. It is either one point or zero points of damage each second I am having sex with her. <laughs> Just because a particular second caused me zero points of damage did not mean that I did not feel anything. It just means I took no damage. I am not going to rush through having sex with this flame action. <laughs> I make sure I pleasure anything I have sex with, especially <laughs> non-humans. I'd rather take damage than not pleasure the flame antron arc. Oh, fuck, man. <sighs> The flame and <laughs> you, the you're a little pant. to have sex. <laughs> Whew. All right, round two. <laughs> when having sex with non-humans, it is always sexier to have sex in their natural habitat rather than in a human's <laughs> natural habitat. The plains of oblivion is the flame antronarch's natural habitat. Okay, let me continue. I need to scroll. Okay. <laughs> Before we went into the plains of oblivion, the flame antronarch let all the Daedra know that we are just here for sex. <laughs> the Daedra will not attack us because they know that I am here at the plains of oblivion on sexual business. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot it was that exact, like, what is sexual business? This includes the Dremora. However, the Dramora Markinaz oh, thinks that I am going to be an easy recruit for becoming a follower of Merun's Dagon, <laughs> considering that I am having sex with a flame Antronach. <laughs> However, I have no interest in becoming a Daedra. <laughs> he's strictly there on business, oh, he knows man. what he wants. That he could be the funniest person alive. <laughs> oh, he's definitely up there. It's got like, um, Blaze the movie fan energy. Fuck. I am sorry for letting peed files <laughs> talk to minors. What the fuck? That's the fucking last time I am ever associated with fucking pedo. I knew that I was associating <laughs> with fucking pedophiles. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, man. Oh fuck, man. He's so funny. Yeah, so basically, I'm about people up. I thought people are fucking <laughs> me. <laughs> oh my god, man, he's such a fucking heinous man. And then he didn't, he didn't take the dirt off his channel, and he just fucking put disowned beside it. <laughs> he's not fucking <laughs> me. <laughs> oh my god. Where the fuck am I going to get a fucking float seal? Oh, I man, feel like it's it fucked. Then he made a video apologizing, saying, Oh, yeah, I did know there were pedophiles and it was wrong <laughs> of me to let them talk to minors in my Discord. <laughs> yes, plays the movie fan. It was very <laughs> wrong of you because you are now an accessory. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, all I'm saying is. No, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> He learned from his mistakes. <laughs> we hope. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck, right on. All right, what's the best um, D's nuts Pokemon? What? There's a D's nuts Pokemon in every generation. Did you know that? Please elaborate. We're all right on these nuts. Right on these nuts. Gen one. Uh, okay, Slug my balls. Gen two. Slug my balls. Okay. Gen three. Gulp and these nuts. Gulp and these nuts, okay. Gen 4. 
Um, uh, there's definitely one in Gen 4. Oh, let me pull up the Pokedex. <laughs> Jamie, pull up the Pokedex. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, Gen 5 is obviously sock on these notes. Yeah. That's easy. Yeah. Gen 4, where am I? Where am I? Okay, I'm getting into Gen 4. Um... No, 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 <laughs> Hip out on these nuts? No, it's just because it's just got on on it, right? Yeah, in that case, you could just say bronze on these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> that goes hard, though. <laughs> Crow gunk my balls. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, I, I can get behind that. Oh, that guy's so funny. Really, nice pass. He's a good-looking guy, isn't he? <laughs> oh, yeah, um, I mean, there is literally a Pokemon called Licky Licky. Yeah, Licky Licky my balls. Licky Licky these nuts. Speaking of Gen 6, what did you say yours was? Xerneas or Evil Tal? Xerneas. I like Evil Tal. Oh, I like that he looks like fucking Rasher when he's shiny. I like that he looks like the letter Y. <laughs> yeah, I like that too, actually. Oh, wait. I really like Xerneas because he looks like the, the letter X, and <laughs> I have one extra letter X. <laughs> Chromosome. Um, um, Alright, what, what about Gen 7? Gen 7? Mm-hmm. Uh, not a D's nose Pokemon. No, not a carrot. It's definitely not a carrot. Um, Gen 7 has Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon too. Yeah, I uh, hate those fucking designs. They're so bad. <laughs> yeah, Solgaleo. Yeah, I like it. Um, do you know what? I think Lunala is like a really cool idea, but yeah. I don't, I'm don't. i not there. Do you know what I mean? Solgaleo's just cool, man. I think it's kind of boring. I don't really like either of those two. Like, I like I the idea that it's like a, it's like a moon catcher. I think that's really interesting. Lunala. Yeah. But Solgaleo is just a safer design. It's just a fucking lion. Oh my Gen Eight, fuck's sake! Yeah, I like the sword dog more than the shield dog. Sorry. I think I think everybody likes the the shield one. Or sorry, the sword one more. Cause it's just a dog holding a sword. <laughs> yeah, it's just your man Sif from fucking Dark Souls. It is. Um. Oh come on, Michael Jackson! You can't be missing these clamps. But then Gen Nine has to be the fucking uh, red lizard. Yeah, the red one's way better. <laughs> oh, that's the Gen 9 version of these nuts. Cried on these nuts. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> but I hate... Like, that. that's how disassociated with recent Pokemon we can. I'm like, yeah, I like the Red Lizard. I like the Sword <laughs> Dog. <laughs> Zacian, yeah. Zacian and Zama's Center. Yeah, smoking on that Zaz Zama's. Alright, favorite suit of Legendary. Clefki's nuts. <laughs> yeah, I I'm I'm there for that. <laughs> um, favorite pseudo legendary. Mhm. Mm oh fuck. Um. Oh fuck. My favorite fucking oh. pseudo legendary is fucking. <laughs> My favorite fucking pseudo legendary <laughs> tried to r me. <laughs> you fucking tried to. R oh. Me. <laughs> <laughs> My fucking Rayquaza! Fucking Rayquaza! Hang on, let me, let me pull up the pseudo legendaries in front of me so I can have a have a little little run through. Mm -hmm. Have a remember. So we have Dragonite, Tyranitar, Salamence, Metagross, Garchomp, Hydreigon, mm -hmm. Gudra, Hisuian Gudra, if you want to be that way inclined. Mm -hmm. uh, Como. Dragon Bolt and Baxcalibur. Yep. Which one so, you got? Oh my god, did you see how little damage that did? <laughs> we're fucked, I feel. I, <laughs> I think we're fucked. I don't have a good feeling. <laughs> Wait, it's only using Hyper Void. Is that its best move? I was about to say it used Dragon Ascent, but this is Gen 5. It doesn't even have it in Gen 4. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, it only has it in Gen 6. I thought you were going to say something ridiculous. How much PP does Hyper Voice have? Is it 10 or 15? 
Someone tells me it's 15, man. Because if it's 10, I think we're fine. But if it's 15, uh, I think we might have to lose someone. But wow, this was really difficult. Yeah, we're getting quite unlucky. Do you be pretty good here? Nicki Minaj. Uh, Nicki Minaj. <laughs> With a big fat ass. Yeah. Um, fuck. Pseudo legendaries, man. Um, who is sparking joy for me right now? Come on, confuse him, Porygon. Probably. So if I'm. It's probably between. Hydreigon mm -hmm. <laughs> and Dragapult. I really fucking like Dragapult. Yeah, that's a, those are fair choices. Also, like I'd say I like Tyranitar, but I've never used the Tyranitar. I've just always thought his design's sick. Yeah, his design's great. Um, Metagross as well. Big lover of that guy. But I think I think up until Gen 6, they're all perfect designs, I think. I think Gudra yeah. is the first one where it gets a bit wavy. Como fucking sucks too, man. You don't like Como? I love Como. It I just, I don't, I don't, I don't vibe with Como. I'm a big fan of Como. Do you know, I think we might be able to get there because he's just after using Crunch, which means Crunch is his now best attack. So we can resist that with Rose West and start extreme speed and get a bit of damage and then leave. I don't hate Como. I just, it just doesn't fit. The pseudo legendary thing for me. Less than Baxcalibur? Or Gudra? Oh, I, I don't like Baxcalibur, man. I don't like him either, but like when you send him out in battle in Gen 9, um, he literally makes the same noise as a cow. Does he? He literally goes, <laughs> which I think is really funny. So he's honestly up, he's above Gudra for me because of that. Maybe. Because, like, I'm a big hater of new Pokemon. I haven't had a, a new, like... Let's go, Rose new... West! Let's go. I haven't had a new loved Pokemon since Gen 7. Because that was obviously uh, Pikumuku. You just said you like Dragapult. But that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, like, that's what I'm about to say. Like, I'm normally not a new Pokemon guy, but Dragapult's oh, an outlier for me. I really... Maybe Dragapult's my favorite pseudo-legendary. I do oh. fucking love that guy. We got Fire Pledge, so we have, an we have another Fire move, but in this gen, fucking Fire Pledge, I think, is 50 base power. I yeah. don't get how bad Calibas an Ice type. You catch him on top of an Icy Mountain. So, by the same extension, like Tyranitar could be an Ice type. Do you know what I mean? Like, if I'm looking at the evil line. Frigibax? He could be an Ice type. That's fine. I, I actually like Frigibax. Um, Arctibax? He fits the ice type thing no, for me. No, sorry. But... Not Frigibax. I always mix them up. Frigibax is the first one. Arctibax I like. I hate Frigibax. It's so ugly. Like, those two fit the ice type thing, but to me, Baxcalibur looks like a Dragon Steel type. Because of the big uh, Godzilla thing on his back. Yeah, he just looks like a Dragon Steel type. That's fair. And his name's Baxcalibur. That is oh. such a fucking Steel type name. I just realized I fucking goofed. I thought we could go over the left-hand side, so I fought that girl for nothing. Oh, man. Look away, you stupid prick, man. So your favorite one's Dragapult? Yeah. What about you? Mine, You're a Hydreigon guy, right? Mine is Hydreigon, yeah. But it's yeah. very close between him and Metagross. Love Dragapult. You see, I would have told you until not that long ago that my favorite pseudo legendary pokemon you're was kidding me forest. i'm sorry for interrupting you are your kid do you see what happened again yeah man, oh that's not my god and michael jackson is in front we're fucked man okay come on. please 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 please, please, please. <coughs> oh my god oh my god we got the odd keystone no, let's go get a spirit too man yeah we might have to but yeah i would have told you my favorite Pseudo legendary was Haxorus until not long ago. Yeah, because you didn't know he wasn't. He's not a pseudo legendary. All right, where do you stand on this, right? So people apparently in Japan, this the, the only reason I know about this is because of uh, apparently in Jap I saw it on Twitter, or whatever. Apparently in Japan, right? They don't call them pseudo legendaries. They call them six hundred club or something like that, right? Yeah. So obviously Landorus isn't a pseudo legendary because. 
He's based at total 600, but he's the leader of a like legendary group, right? Yeah, he's legendary. Heatran is 600 stat, but it's not legendary. Stuff like that, right? Um, yeah. The new Pokemon Archaladon, you know, the stupid fucking bridge? Yeah. That thing's based stat total is 600. So, people were saying, is that a part of the fucking... 600 club. 600 club as well, because it's not a legendary... I suppose it is a pseudo legendary, but it doesn't tick the same boxes as the, the other criteria. ones because it doesn't have a first evolve and it's cross generational. But it, yeah, that's a strange one. I wouldn't say it counts, but I don't, I don't think so either. Of... But if they gave it a first evolve in the next gen, I'd say, do you know what? Maybe. Yeah, if they give it a first evolve, I really do like the fucking bridge cunt. I don't like him at all. I think it's hilarious. I it think is. it's a really funny thing. Yeah, but you can have a funny design that's also good, right? Because you've got high drapple. You know yeah. what I mean? He's class. He's so funny. He's, as uh, George Lucas would say, he's a funnier character than we've ever had before. You know, talking about fucking <laughs> Jim Jar Jar Binks. Um, wait. Did she give us fly? We already have fly, man. Do we? Literally. Oh my god, we do. So I've been running back and forth for fucking nothing. What do you mean everyone can't learn it? Oh, we already had this issue, didn't we? Remember? Yeah, that's why I didn't mention we had fly. Alright, well, let's see. Let's teach him fly. That's really funny that R. Kelly knows fly. <laughs> yeah, because he believes he can. I believe I can fly. <laughs> That's so fitting. <laughs> what the fuck, man? We named the perfect fucking <laughs> oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Like, he's a humanoid. Yep. And those fly. He, uh... I was gonna say he judo chops, but he, that's a different guy. He beats guy. people. He beats people up, yeah. Um, that, that's, that's Robert K. Yeah, that's, that's unfortunately our guy at the moment. Man, I really hope we don't get big, because if anyone comes back and watches this and goes, um, Big Lads named a Pokemon after R. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, like, the, there's a, it's a naming convention. They could they could see what was going on. It's the convict run. We don't support yeah, we, any we, of these people. If anything, we're bringing to light what they did so people know about it, you know? I think we're doing I just a service. an official public statement right now that I don't condone what R. Kelly did. I think R. Kelly's a piece of shit, but I... I don't think R. Kelly's funny, and I don't think using R. Kelly is funny. I just think it's humorous that a Pokemon named after R. Kelly can use Fly, okay? <laughs> yeah. I just think that's a bit on the nose, yeah. and I I just... I, I know that maybe... Tom, it might just, sound Tom like give me the laughing. shovel. Stop digging yourself a hole. Give me the, give me the shovel. But, I think you, all you liberals <laughs> need to shut the fuck up and die. <laughs> oh man, we need to be careful about hate speech because I was I was talking to Mr. Hudlum Callum today. Mm-hmm. The tweet you made. He has a community guideline strike on his channel now because in one of his videos, one of his friends said the phrase "I hate Americans" jokingly. <clears throat> That's pretty unfortunate, went, isn't it? Either he just went, "I hate Americans, man." Man, if that got him a community guideline strike, we're fucked. We're done for, man. <laughs> the fuck? <gasps> we are just hate speech, man. <laughs> no, we're not. Well, it's satire. Don't it's be ridiculous. funny. It's just a goof and a gag. We don't hate anyone. But, like, he got a community guideline strike for talking about hating Americans as a joke. And meanwhile, I'm talking about global domination with fucking <laughs> Mecha Jingus. World domination. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm Plankton and Mecha Jingus is my computer wife. <laughs> Darren, my computer wife. Jingus, my computer wife. <laughs> you, so, you just sound like fucking um, Joe you. Swanson. <laughs> Very Hey, Chingus. Hey, Chingus. Wh which move should we get rid of here? I think Chatter is a TM, obviously, so we should probably get rid of that, right? Yeah. Because at least we can reteach it, though. Hey, Chingus. <laughs> Cam, mine's kind of huge, though, to be honest. Yeah, that goes hard. I don't think we came oh, out man. this way. Yeah, I I'm scared. Like, obviously, we're small fries, so nothing's going to happen. YouTube don't care about our channel. It's true. We don't have 400,000 subscribers. Damn, he has 400,000? 
Go. Mm. Yeah, he's Mr. Famous. <laughs> When's he gonna ruin his career and come on this with us? My dream guest list. Uh, Netanyahu. N Donald Trump. <laughs> no, not Netanyahu. <laughs> no. Uh, so obviously my like top priority guest, which probably won't ever happen, but just on the off chance, is probably Chingus Khan. Yep. Uh, like Me Mecha Chingus. I'd love to have him on here, just because that means I've fulfilled what I was aiming for. All right. Because next on the agenda is I would love to get Lou to on here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So... I know he watches our videos, so Lewis? This is the call out. This is the call out post. Put your money Get where on. your mouth is. Put your money where your mouth is. Come tell us about why you don't like Pokemon. Yeah. Because uh, famously, nobody hates Pokemon more than the Pokemon fans itself. Exactly. Tell us why you tweet about a franchise that you hate every day. <laughs> oh, this is the cannon one, not the wind turbine one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah this is the lame one. I mean, it's actually the nicer one, but... Yeah, I kind of prefer it as, like, an, as like an idea. It's an idea. <laughs> yeah, like, I think if this... Like, if I had to, like, I think this place would... Um, be great for me to, like, go into space and, like, learn about space. I knew where that was going before it even started. Yeah, of course you did. <laughs> I think we have to battle this guy. Probably, like, to get Will Smith on here. Yeah, if we get Chris Rock on the same time, or will I just like dress yeah, up? Yeah, like as we we'll do what Anthony uh, Padilla did for Point Crow and Small Ant, <laughs> but with Chris Rock and Will Smith. Oh no, Chris Rock and Jada Pinkett Smith. Oh no, I, we can't have her on. Nah, fuck that bitch. Isn't it really um, funny that they like they saw the future by making her um, like make her be the hippo in Madagascar? You know what's oh mad, shit! Right? Um, are we dead? Very close. She's like, she's like one of those Olympic swimmers. What do you mean? Well, they shave all the hair off their body to streamline, don't they? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I suppose. Yeah. That's all I'm saying is watch the space. <laughs> if Jada Pinkett Smith ever takes up swimming, you know what's <laughs> happening. <laughs> fucking, um... I was gonna say Oscar Pistorius, but that's the name of the guy who shot that person. What? Who's the name? What's this guy? Michael Phelps. <laughs> Oscar Pistorius. I I I I, I mixed it up. Yeah, cut me some slack. Um. What about? Okay. All right. You know who my number one would be? Go on. Now listen. I'm not. Um. I'm not politically aligned that way. But. Uh, what's his face would be very funny, Donald Trump. He's well, yeah, because we could make fun of him for he, hours on end. He's too funny a character. Like, imagine the amount of fun we would have made laughing, <laughs> not with at Donald Trump or Tucker Carlson or Ben Shapiro, because they're like all kind of the same character basically, except Trump is like the funniest one. Do you remember? Have you heard his greatest bit of all time? Which? Uh, when he when he said um. Someone, someone was interviewing him, and they were like, um, uh, you know, let's say, because he, I think he's like Catholic, or maybe he's Protestant or whatever. The, he's, he's definitely a Christian anyway. They said, all right, let's say the Pope wanted to talk to you. And he said, he starts waving his finger at you, and he's, uh, and his, um, his translator beside him says, um, you know, like a lot of avenues, uh, in life, um, with money can lead to greed and a lot of other stuff and um he's kind of wagging his finger at you and he's kind of like giving out to you about like a lot of your stances on stuff what would you say to him and donald trump looks for like a second and then goes and then says i think i'd say isis wants to get you <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what the fuck he's cooking or how the fuck he comes up with that shit so quickly like whose fucking response to being grilled by the fucking pope would be ISIS wants to get you <laughs> like it's so insane what do you say in response to the pope I'd say ISIS wants to get you I'd love to get political figures on though like could you imagine we just sit down and go back and forth with fucking Xi Jinping oh yeah Xi Jinping just really like, so man What's up? Oh, communism. What's up, man? 
Like, just imagine sitting down. Imagine not asking any political questions. Just being like, right, would you rather... We just show him pictures of anime characters nasty if you have sex with them. <laughs> so, is it, is it alright if I call you... Is, is it alright if I call you, uh, Ping? Okay, Ping. Um, <laughs> would you rather cum blood or bleed cum? <laughs> He's just like, sorry. He asked his translator. His translator's looking at him like, mm, which, and then he's like, <laughs> just stares deeply and goes. He says something. To the translator. His translator goes, bleed come. <laughs> <laughs> well, he'd say it a bit differently, wouldn't he? If, if I, speak, <laughs> I am in big trouble. If I say anything, if I speak, uh, big trouble. Very big trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Like, but also, like, yeah, you could get all sorts on. You could get, um, like, could you imagine, like, Prince Harry? Oh, man, he loves to go on, on anything. He loves sitting telling people. Like, yeah, why are we talking about rubbing the fucking cream on your knob and saying it reminds you of your mom? That's fucked up. <laughs> That's just so weird, man. Why are we talking about that? Like, why? I think he'd start crying if you said that shit to him, man. They like, carry so. <laughs> what happened to your mom? Do you think it was natural, or do you think it was, you know? <laughs> do you think you're fucking? What's it? Who's the guy? Prince Charles, isn't it? Yeah, but it was like I was like, do you reckon your grandma just, you know, you know, waving the hand in front of the neck, like on the dictator? <laughs> you know how uh, they <laughs> they just constantly. Walk yeah, yeah, I, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, the quick back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, when I was in Paris, I drove through the tunnel that Diana died in. Oh, did you it actually? Oh, yeah. God bless. The only royal that any of us ever liked. And she fucking got killed. Yeah, because she was too real. She was too real. And she had an affair. Oh, did she actually? Are you telling me King Charles <laughs> is Harry's dad? Nah. I'd, no chance. I don't know. No chance. Listen, you're There's asking me as if I know shit about fucking the royalty and... Nah, Lady Di definitely had an affair. Ah, oh, fair. <laughs> uh, you could say our oh, affair. Like, imagine we just sit down, mm -hmm. we just get Putin in a room and go, yeah, Vlad, what's a crack? <laughs> well, they already did mean? that. Did you not see the Tucker Carlson interview? No. Oh my, Tucker Carlson got him on for an interview and he starts talking about how Hitler's still alive and stuff. It's so funny. <laughs> I was like, Vladimir, like, what's going on with with uh, with Ukraine? Like, what, what are you actually on with? Like, Oh man, I had an encounter with the Russian, actually. Being autistic and being raised on uh, playing video games with uh, Russians, like CSGO, taught me a few Russian swear words. Yeah, I'm sure it would. Um... And I was working at a Russian guy's house mm -hmm. and basically did the job and he started trying to cut me down on price. Like big time. And I was like, no, this is the final price. And he's like, going back and forth, back and forth. And um, he basically, at the end, he's like, each with, with his mate, two, two Russians, is like, <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> Do you know what Idanahui means? Um, no. That's Russian for go fuck yourself. So you knew what he said? Yes, because of CSGO. So to which I replied was, that wasn't very nice, mate. <laughs> Man, the guy's face. Draft when, he, when just, he knew what he said. He just dropped and he goes, he just starts laughing and goes, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that guy was shook. No, that's the thing about like online games. No fucking normal, like, English bloke should know what that guy is saying. Oh my god. I mean, he dies to extreme speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I like, just saw no high jump kick and my breath kind of went, oh my days. But I, because of CSGO, I knew what those words meant. Mm -hmm. I wasn't very happy with them. I thought that was very mean. And you'd be right. It was quite mean. I'm going to go fuck myself in Russian. <laughs> you go fuck yourself. Motherfucker, we agreed a price. I love how you slam into the wall there. Yeah, Very it's, a, it's a quirky little bit. Broke all the bones in your face. <laughs> Alright, let me go back. I need a heal. 
I think we should probably fight a few more trainers as well, though. Just to, like, level up the guys to, like, 33 across the board. Maybe 135. Yeah, that's, that's Rock. That's Chris Rock. <laughs> Let's, uh, Marty from Madagascar. Rest in peace, Marty. <laughs> Hate what those poachers did there in the third film. <laughs> I didn't watch the third movie. What happened to him? Doesn't he go to a circus? I got shot in the head. <laughs> no, he fucking doesn't kill yourself. Honestly, man, he gets shot in his leg. Goes, ah! <laughs> He's Alex! like, what? Alex, Alex, the fucking lion, fucking save me! <laughs> they fucking shot me in the fucking head. Ow! You shot me, you a hole. Ow! Oh, fuck! He gave me a fucking lobotomy! <laughs> I thought this is fucking ridiculous! I'm fucking suing! Makes me sad. <laughs> what this movie man, did. What he did, yeah. It makes me even sadder that I said, nah, there's no way this guy's not being involved in pedophilic activity. And, and then within seconds of saying that, we found out that he was. <laughs> yeah, we were right. Well, I say we, you. Because you, you were like, nah, no way, man. <laughs> and I was like, nah, he definitely is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never associating with fucking pedophiles again. Ever, ever fucking again. Oh, fuck me, so funny. Not being funny, Blaze, but what made you fucking do it in the first place, <laughs> you dumb cunt? A certain, uh, a certain Poketuber. Mm hmm. Who, uh, turned out to be a pedophile. Yep. Yeah. Used to name his Venusaurs Thickums. Can I guess which one it was? Oh one. no! Take a guess. You did you see what item he just used? I think we're fucked. It was a dire hit. Yeah. What a fuck. Oh fuck! And he has a high crit root move anyway. Oh my! That's a. I think that's a hundred percent crit rate. Yeah, but we ate. We did kind of eat. No oh, and we got confused. I think this means every Eight. second turn we or every second turn we have to recover. Okay, that's good. <laughs> was it um, the King Nappy who said that? It might have been, yes. It might have been, yeah. Put up that picture it of um, the Minions one. Bad, huh? yeah. <laughs> Are you allowed to post that picture? Or is it okay? I don't know if I want to. I don't know if that picture ever needs to see the light of day again. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> it's really Mad funny. He's though. a real estate agent. Yeah, he is a real estate agent. Isn't that nuts? Crazy. Get cancelled for being a pedophile, so you just go from being a poke tuber to a real estate agent. Yeah, it's actually um honestly nutty pipeline. I feel like not enough people Mad talk about people that. Found, like people found out the where he was working, and then loads of people from the community got in touch with his work and told them that he was a pedophile. And did he get sacked? Oh well, I don't know the the. Aftermath, but could you imagine being an employer just getting loads of messages w from people with Pokemon profile pictures <laughs> saying, "No, oh, you know that, you know that fucking Kyle guy you employ, he's a pedophile." <laughs> well, he didn't take his channel down, did he? No, he tried to come back. Oh, he did, didn't he? Kyle Rittenhouse or something like that. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Why? What? Well, that's not his fucking real name. It is. No, it's not. Kyle Rittenhouse yeah, is the yeah. name of the fucking 16-year-old fellow who showed up with a machine gun in a different state. No. Yes. That's the King Nappy's name. <laughs> no, it's fucking not. <laughs> You're a fucking liar. You know Tobuscus is a Kyle Rittenhouse apologist. <laughs> oh, he is? I think I did actually <laughs> yeah. know that. <laughs> yeah. Tobuscus made loads of posts being pro-Kyle Rittenhouse <laughs> around that fucking time. I have you have you seen all the shit of people saying that like you see the way he like joined the army now or something? Who R Kyle Rittenhouse? Kyle Rittenhouse yeah, and loads of people are posting how he looks like a fucking like lesbian mom now. It's so fucking funny. How old is he now? I don't know. He's still younger than us, like a couple years younger than us. He's like a huge alt right I uh, symbol these days, isn't he? Very peculiar. But then again, the alt right are very peculiar. How did he not get? Did he kill anyone? I don't know what Kyle Rittenhouse got up to, to be honest with you. I know he's a piece of shit, but, like, I just remember him crying in, um, in, what's that thing called? Oh, yeah, court. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do you call that thing again? That place where people who do bad things go. 
where they send people to jail. <laughs> There's a little thing called the French Revolution. Oh, I was holding a sword from the Napoleonic War the other day. Oh, wow. I'm just waving it around. I also had a katana in my hand. So I have this guy who collects antique weapons. Who I do with. Uh oh. Um, nah, he's like an old man, man. No, I was saying uh oh because of the double oh. edge, but I thought it would do more damage. He did more fucking damage himself. Um, and yeah, it, so I threw an interest in one of his old guns once. So now every time we go around, he pulls out his weaponry <laughs> that he's got at the moment. Sorry, he's an sorry. antique stealer. Tom, come on. Show, show him a bit of fucking respect, man. Show him a bit of fucking class. It's called an armory, all right? Yeah, cool. He's, a, he's an antique stealer <laughs> anyway. But he had this katana, man. So you know in, the, in World War II, the Japanese like all took their family swords to war and mm -hmm. like lost them? He just has he's one. He's got a recovered one of them. Now, you know what the fucking... What's the, the, the thing that you put slot the sword into? Called? Scabbard? The scabbard. It's made of ivory. Like you no can't legally sell way. it. It's ivory, and it's a fucking proper katana. All in, like it's got loads of like old fucking Japanese like Buddhist pictures. I want to say, are they not Shinto? Or, or Sh whatever it is, yeah. religious like carvings in it. And I was just stood there with it, no shit, putting it to my side. Just you know the like out of the samurai shit where they just like <laughs> pull it out and stop the people with it in front of them. Yep. I was just fucking kept doing that. I was like, I'm like a samurai, aren't I? And he was loving it. He was amused. <laughs> but did you see the picture I posted with the flintlock pistol? Yes, I did, yeah. Yeah, that was his. That's a fucking real live flintlock pistol that I was just playing with. That's fucking badass. You know when that was dated? 14 something? 1730. 1730? It's still pretty fucking old. 300 year old gun. And then I had a revolver in my hand, and I was like, God, I'm like Clint Eastwood on it, and I kept hip-firing it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the the sword from the Napoleonic War was stamped uh, June 1813. Jeez. Which is wild. You know what? The Sun Cunt was using that. And they had loads of musket blades as well. Um, World's a weird place, yeah, huh? Yeah, had, had a lot of cool shit, man. Like... Honestly, I am. Um, give me a fucking 300 year old flintlock pistol. I'm amused. <laughs> I think most. Like, it, it's a very guy thing, though, isn't it? It's like artistic yeah. guy thing is to get a thing that. I mean, listen, anything that can kill someone is interesting. That's kind of the way I look at it. I literally uh, messaged a girl and I was like, Do you want to see what I've just been playing with at work? And she was like, Yeah. I was like, I was like, Do you want to guess? And she couldn't guess. And I was like, Do you want to see? Yeah. And I sent her a picture of me playing with a gun. She went, You are literally so artistic. <laughs> See, the way you had phrased that sounded like you were going to get sacked because it sounds like you were fucking wanking on the job. You know what I've been playing with um, uh, at work, baby? Just send her a picture of me cock. My penis. No, it's a flint, an antique flintlock pistol. Yeah, but I was I love the like, pistol. Right? What? Because you know Fable 2? Yes, I know Fable 2. You could get a flintlock pistol and a flintlock rifle, and they were my favourite guns. In the game, mm -hmm. so I was like, "It was the Fable gun, man." <laughs> You're such I was, a fucking I was there, idiot. I had the Fable gun in my hand. But now this is this is the same woman who is also autistic on Assassin's Creed, so she can not say <laughs> anything about me playing with a fucking flintlock pistol. <laughs> oh man, I'm such a dumbass. Didn't we get the lucky egg? I should probably just give the lucky egg to the Pokemon to make this like process go quicker. Man, I, that's so fucking stupid. You're so right. Also, Wall Rain is pretty scary. No, is it's it? pretty scary. Um, probably R. Kelly. I think R. Kelly can, R. Kelly can Kelly. beat this fat bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Ooh, encore. That's a Lincoln Park song. Featuring Jay Z. <laughs> Can I get an encore? Oh, Give me one, one more. more. Something then. He says Brooklyn something. Brooklyn Raw with the Brooklyn something. Hmm. I feel. Bulk up. Is bulk up even worth it? Like, I get having Brick Break and Low Sweep is kind of shit, but I like having both of them because Low Sweep gives you the speed drop. 
Yeah. But the difference in power is quite big, right? Because what? 60 divided by 15 is 25%, so the Brick Break is like actually just 25% stronger. So yeah, I'll go with Low Sweep. And then we go to Bill Clinton. Oh, sorry, I always think it's Bill Clinton. It's fucking Bill Gates, man. Well, I mean, we can literally have more than one Bill, which is hilarious. Yeah, but we should have put Bill Gates, considering we had a Winona Ryder. Yeah, but then we can just have Bill C when we get Bill Clinton. <laughs> yeah, true. But then it could be Bill Cosby! <laughs> oh, fuck. Man, we don't- the fact that we don't have Bill- I guess we just never encountered any fucking male Pokemon. We so. haven't had any males, this is the problem. <laughs> nice. Nice cock. Nice cock. <laughs> if someone came up to me and said, Nice cock, I'd, I'd be chuffed. What? Well, would you... M I'd probably be more like, Why are you looking at my peewee? No, I wouldn't. I'd, like, I'd what, if you're a, what if you're in a urinal and you just looked over? Nice cock. <laughs> I'd say, Thanks, man. Actually, I wouldn't be at a UNL because I have performance anxiety. <laughs> we um, we went for a drive the other night, and one of my friends needed a piss, mm -hmm. um, and he, he's real real performance anxiety pisser. So he went off to a bush that piss, and then my other friend turned the car around and put his like the big headlight, on. yeah, like these full beam onto him pissing, and his stream just stopped immediately. <laughs> it was so fucking funny. <laughs> that that actually just sounds like a cartoon shoot. Cartoon art mimics art imitates life. Life and life imitates art. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god, man. Blue game, I like Poogia. Do you like that one? Yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, I think it's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Is that ever not going to be funny? Probably not. Nah, it'll always be funny. I think, I think it's a carrot. I don't like this guy. He gives me bad vibes. I feel like this is gonna give us a bit of XP, so I'm just gonna... Yeah. I'm just gonna tough it out. It probably won't because wild Pokemon don't give you fucking any XP at all, so... Big bird, isn't it? Yeah, he's a big guy. He's fast as fuck for some reason, though. You would be shitting yourself if you were just walking down the street and that flew over your head, though, wouldn't you? Oh, you would. <laughs> you see the item we just got there? Row up, Barry. Yeah, that's like an that's an item you can't even get in the game normally. It was only off. Uh, the only way you could get that was in. Uh, oh, Skarmory would have been so good though. The Roap Berry is an item that you can only get from um, an event Arceus. I'm pretty sure. Well, I could probably get one or two. Yeah, I think I could too. With, with a little thing called action replay. No, I just would get one authentically. I can grow them in my game. <laughs> I think the um. They're in Gen 9, and it's the first time they've ever been accessible as an item, I'm pretty sure. Like, without needing to, um, get it off of uh, an event. But, like, they're really weird berries, they don't really do anything. They just grow in my they, game. I think... Do they, yeah? Yes, basically. What? Do you know what, Tom? I'm curious. What do you think a Roap Berry does? Um... There's literally no way you could fucking guess what it does unless you Google it. Uh, so it probably... Um... Does it do something? Yeah, it does something, yeah. Like it has a... It does something in battle. Yeah. It does something in battle? Yeah. Like most berries. Like, you know the way a cherry berry, if you're holding it, it'll heal your paralysis. Yeah. Or a citrus berry heals you. Um... I'm gonna guess that if you're holding it mm -hmm. then you consume it mm -hmm. if you're hit by a special attack you probably lose one eight to be max HP. yeah it sounds like you googled no that. that was a guess was that right <laughs> that's exactly right fuck off you fucking googled that you bitch didn't no. you no <laughs> i think it's a cow. well actually I'm not sure if the Roap Berry does that or the Jaboka No, the Roap Berry, Berry, does, Berry does do that according to Bubble Boogie. Oh, yeah, so you've Googled it then. I think it's a carrot. <laughs> I think it's a carrot. It has a high chance of uh, <laughs> producing a Poker Block Plus or something. Poker Puff Plus. Does it? I never did any of that shit. Um, so. According to Bubble Boogie. Bam, Bubble Boogie was down earlier for me. It's a bullshit. Yeah, it works for me. 
But that's probably because my mate's like one of the editors on it or something. Wait, are you taking the piss or does Lewis actually do that? <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> that's his archiving, is it? Yeah, I edit Bulbapedia articles. You know the song White and Nerdy? Taxi. Yeah. What what is it what, what what's the lyric? I'm looking online for some something media. I edit Wikipedia. Isn't that one of the lyrics for uh, White and Nerdy? It was it was directed directly at him, wasn't it? I yeah, edit, maybe. I edit on Bulbapedia. I edit Bulbapedia. <laughs> Remember back in the day when you could just edit Wikipedia? That was class. Wasn't it, it was the Wild West. I used to just edit Soldier Boy's Wikipedia page and be funny. <laughs> Deserved. Like you know, I think that I think that girl just up there is a triple battle. But yeah, sorry, one. I edited Soldier Boy's Wikipedia to say that his name was Soldier Gay Boy. <laughs> You're such a fucking loser. What age are you? Did that? You're nine? Probably like fourteen or something. Nine. <laughs> Maybe eight. I was eight or nine when I had my Soldier Boy Renaissance. Man, there are videos on which I'm really sad. You know that YouTube channel I lost. There are videos on there of me recording a Japanese playthrough of Pokemon Black and White when it first launched on an emulator, right? Mm -hmm. And I just used to upload like the gym battles and rival battles. Um, okay. And they all had Soldier Boy music playing over them. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking bad. But not badass, like popular man. Soldier Boy music, like shit off his albums. <laughs> you were trying to show that you were a day one -er. Exactly. Like, those videos now, if stumbled upon by someone, if the channel wasn't gone, would be so funny. <laughs> like, could you imagine finding the Pokemon Black first gym battle, but Gucci Bandana by Soldier Boys playing over it? <laughs> Gucci Bandana, Gucci Bandana. That's Saint Maximum's song. Is it actually? Nah, but he did used to wear his Gucci headband and get fined every match. <laughs> Why? Because you're not led where. No, you're not. You're not that wear branded stuff. When you used to pay fine every match and just wear a Gucci headband. <laughs> that is so stupid. How much is the fine? I don't know, but pennies to a man like Sin. Yeah, I was gonna say. Sure. Even more pennies now. He earns, he earns two hundred and fifty grand a week to play in Saudi, and he is so mid. Oh my god, man! Can he give me like one of his week's paychecks, and then I'd be sore for the rest of my yeah, life? Yeah, literally. Give me one paycheck, and I can buy myself a house right now. That Literally. I can live in for Crazy. the rest of my life. Because I would, in the Northeast, I could buy a nice house for 250 grand, man. Yeah, unfortunately in Ireland, you can't buy anything good for that fucking price. Which is fucking ridiculous. You'd have to buy it, like, proper out in the fucking West or something. Or in the South. Like, obviously, the further into Newcastle you get, the more expensive it gets. Oh, yeah. But, like... You can buy probably like a four bedroom house in like an outskirt in Newcastle, depending on where. The rougher outskirts probably like four hundred odd grand. The nicer parts probably like six, seven hundred grand. Six hundred grand, yeah, that sounds fair. Um But like the house I grew up in sold in two thousand and eleven for two hundred and ten thousand pounds. And the house I grew up in mm -hmm. was a four-bedroom detached house with a double garage, a drive, Jeez. a massive front garden, and a massive back garden, a conservatory, and a kitchen extension, and a utility room. Mm -hmm. And it has, uh, it had a dining room and two living rooms. Jeez. Well, the house I lived in when I was a kid, and that sold for two hundred and ten grand, man. <laughs> like that's probably worth. About th that's... It's definitely worth about three hundred k now. Yeah, but still, yeah. that's pennies, man. Yeah, it's not 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 a lot. But like, fuck, two hundred and fifty grand, I can buy like a brand new three bedroom detached house with a garage and a drive. Yeah, that's not probably a bit less than that. Probably like two twenty, two thirty. So, if Saint Maximin gave me a week of his pay, <laughs> I'd just buy a gaff. That just crazy. Going to work. Like, pay the bills, live rent free. Like how? Like that's—they uh, make so much money they don't even need it. 
You know oh, yeah, I mean? no, like, obviously, I did a uh, certain Newcastle player's house alarm, and he's the same age as me. Mm -hmm. And he's just sitting there living in a £1.6 million pound mansion by himself. Yeah, it's just fucking... By nice himself. Thing. He has a full-sized Olympic standard swimming pool in his house. Oh, my God. <laughs> and a gym and a sauna. It's three stories. And he's Fuck me. 24 years old. It's crazy. And lives alone. And has a 200 and something grand car on the drive. Yeah, it must be fucking nice, huh? Crazy. Why couldn't my artistic topic be football and I'd be really good at football and then be playing for New big league, huh? Man, me yeah, too. Man. Why is my autist why is my one autistic skill clicking fucking circles? <laughs> why is mine knowing stats for a baby game? Hey man, ask me anything about Assassin's Creed. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I know. Ask I know, me any fucking Harry Potter lore and I'll fucking answer it for you. <laughs> but, oh, your practical skill, that can make me money. <laughs> I mean, I, I can tell you a lot about burglar alarms. That's one thing. I'm pretty autistic when it comes to burglar alarms. <laughs> but burglar alarms only own, earn you so much money, man. You want to know how many zones a fucking lightest plus panel can have when it's fully extended out? I'll tell you that. 512, <laughs> buddy. It's 512. Damn. That is so much and so interesting. Yeah. 512 zones. <laughs> Unless you're running them via the bus line, then you can have more. Listen, listen, you could be making money off your artistic trait or topic. You're not just fucking, uh, you just don't stream Osu. I don't play Osu. <laughs> That's also true. You used to, though. I used to, but that game makes me want to kill myself. <laughs> It's just like Overwatch. <laughs> oh man, imagine you could make money off being the best quick play Torbjorn. <laughs> oh look, it's this guy we were talking about a while ago. He's a fast Pokemon. Oh, he went for me first. Don't think he needs... Wait, doesn't me first get a boost as well? How much is he gonna do? No, never mind. I think me first does get a boost. It's such a shit move. I'm actually Scarlet that a fucking Excel Gore took more damage than a Grimer. <laughs> what does Cotton's Ball do again? Speed. Just lowers your speed harshly, yeah. They buffed it in the... I'm pretty... I don't know when they buffed it. Um, it lowers both your opponent's speed in a double battle, so it's like kind of a good move. Oh. They did, they did that for String Shot. Did you know no. that? No. String Shot hits... Both Pokemon and lowers both speed, like your speed by two instead of one now. So it on our string shot is unironically a usable move in VGC. That's unnecessary. Yeah, it's kind of weird though, isn't it? Because it's like famously a dog shit move. Like, let's buff spring, the string shot of all moves. Yeah, yeah but they, they buffed the leech. shit out of Leech Life. Yeah, I was about to say they did it with Leech Life, didn't they? They made Leech yeah. Life really good. <laughs> They made it arguably like the best bug move in the entire game. No, actually that's not true because fucking Quiver Dance exists and that's the best bug move ever. Elite Life just became so good early game as well. Yeah, it's ridiculous. What I don't understand is why they made it stronger than Drain Punch and Giga Drain. That to yeah. me makes no sense. No, it doesn't, does it? Um, Because it's the fucking same you'd, shit. You'd think they'd put it on the same wavelength. Yeah, just make it 75 power. It's not like it would be... Like, yeah, of course it would be worse, but like... Not much, man. Yeah, not not by much. What the fuck do we do with the odd keystone in this game? Surely it doesn't actually do anything, right? It has no fucking function. <laughs> the odd keystone does nothing. Yeah, best thing you can do is sell it to a uh, uh, all mania. Where does that person live? Anvil Town? I think the Berry Maniacs in Anvil Town. I don't know if the other guy is. Um, which city are we in? We're in Mistrailton, isn't it? Yeah, Mistrailton. Icarus City. Oh, Icarus City. Yeah, it's next one, isn't it? That's uh, in the Pokemon Center. Oh, cool. Because we have to go to the, um, watch my call out. Um, we go through Twist Mountain after we beat, um, Skyla. We could send it, right? 
But I feel like if we just get two levels on Michael Jackson, we'll be cleaner sailing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Where even is a good place to train it? I think we. I think we. Oh no, we didn't fight all the trainers in the. Um, oh, we also didn't fight the trainers over here. I don't think. The, there's two clowns. I think the two clowns will give us the XP we need. Okay. Yeah, so we'll fight these two fuckers and then we'll just go to the. Um, I think we'll go to the gym after that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen Shroomish in this game now that I've seen it here. I feel like I would remember how much he's bouncing, do you know what I mean? He gets about, doesn't he? What the fuck? Yeah, he's got 90. Taxi. I wonder, does Muck learn Poison Jab? Because I feel like we kind of need Poison Jab. Oh my god, that's fucking gas. Fuck's sake. <laughs> we poisoned it and it has fucking Poison Heal. This isn't even the fucking first Trico we fought on this route as well. I wonder what's been replaced by Trico. Well, I don't think it's one for one. I don't think we made it one for one in the game's code. Just funny. Yeah, just a little coinky dink. A coinky dink, if you will. Oh, I think it's a carrot. I think it's a carrot. <laughs> Red L S T E R. Oh my God, man. All right, that's gonna be a lot of XP though. As elf, L S T E R. <laughs> L S T E R. Uh, what gets me right is obviously Beetlejuice's real name is Lester. Mhm. Mm that's not even how you that's spell. Not his even real how name. you spell his name. He tried to spell <laughs> his name and misspelt it. I didn't know his real name was Lester. That kind of makes sense as to why he said that. Then doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. L S T E R. He got close, though. It's crazy how on air, when he was against, um, when he was doing the interview, it was against Gary the Retard. Yeah, oh, we love Gary the Retard. <laughs> it's fucking nuts, man. Oh, LGM. Um, I think it's risky to do this, but I'm going to do it because I don't fucking care. It's not going to go for Psychic, yeah, I'm right? Funny, I'm immune uh, to it. A funny Beetlejuice compilation in my TikTok. In your feed? Because there's one I liked the other day and I can't find it. What's that spell? What does T O T T O O T H spell? <laughs> T O O E Y! <laughs> He's so stupid. T C O O T! <laughs> <laughs> What's the word? Oh fuck, he gave a simple. You ready for Seven. 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 <laughs> Seven. That is wrong. If you dig a six foot hole, how deep is that hole? It's probably like 20 feet. You haven't seen <laughs> yeah. Oh, I heard him. It's about like 20 feet. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hole. Do you remember I was telling you about the, the fellow from my secondary school? And he was asked the question. How many years was the 100 year war? And he said, um, for four or five years. <laughs> or no, it was this, he was asked about the seven year war. And he said, um, four or five years. <laughs> I love how he always repeats the end of questions. It's like, one to. minus one equals. What? And then he says, one minus one equals, equals 35. <laughs> the fact that his br like the fact that he can actually like live and breathe and walk around the place is a fucking miracle, man. You know the clip of him being smashed with the fucking chair. Hmm. Have you seen that one? Oh, he gets what? Smashed with a chair. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> it's fucking hysterical. Did you hear that last one? No. What is the opposite of up? He goes, what is it? He only just says, what is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. He's so funny. Number He's the greatest comes character. between ever. two and four Beetlejuice. It's only five. <laughs> <laughs> what are the oh, two fuck. ingredients of a peanut butter and oh, jelly sandwich? Oh, this one's a goat. 
Well, put them by the jello sandwich. Yeah. You said well, it. You said it. No, go ahead. What are the two ingredients? Well, Bali and jelly. What? Bali and jelly. You almost got there. In fairness to me, you almost got there. I mean, he said peanut butter and jelly sandwich, so you could basically just give him the point for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's also true. Alright. Oh my god. Alright, I'm just gonna speed up this shit. E O O T H. Seven! <laughs> Yeah, I think that's the end of it there that time. Oh, okay. Gee, we've gone for three hours. Jesus. Um. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll finish killing this Amphros. Um. So yeah, MJ level thirty. Ooh, that's huge, that's actually. So Razor good. Show. Yeah, let's get rid of Clamp. All right, Sor. Um, he's level 32, yeah, we'll probably just, like, we'll go back to thing, we'll save, we'll do a little recap, and then... Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Um, uh, my auntie's called Mandy, actually. The one that wanted to, like, no, that was your grand-aunt, or granny, wasn't it? Shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> Leave me nan out of this. Alright, so... We had fucking... This is a bit fucking rough. This is a rough day though, wasn't it? Rough day in the office. Yeah, very rough day in the office. You think Valentine's Day would go better for us, you know? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got a lump in me yeah. throat. I, uh, so, uh, no Nicki Minaj, I think it's a carrot. I think it's a carrot. 